look at this picture this is the picture of a night sky now can you point a bright star in the sky yes this one is the brightest star in the sky this bright star is known by different names it is called the north star pole star or polaris now this bright star is stationary with respect to its position from the earth that is this star remains or stays at a constant position in the sky and due to its consistent position in the sky the sailors in ancient times used this north star as a navigation tool now this north star also helps us to determine the latitude of a place we will see how we will now see how to determine the latitude of a place with the help of north star i just mentioned that the position of the north star is fixed in the night sky in fact the north star is situated right above the north pole that is the north star points to the geographical north pole and hence this star is also known as north star now we will see how we can determine the latitude of a place with the help of this star suppose an observer is standing at the north pole since the north star points to the geographical north so the observer will find the north star just above his head now this dotted line shows the line of horizon of the place where the observer is standing and this arrow indicates the line of visibility of the observer now we can see that the line of visibility makes an angle of 90 degree with the horizon to be more clear since the observer is standing at the north pole so if this is the line of horizon and this is the line of visibility then the angle between the line of visibility and the horizon is 90 degree thus the latitude of this place where the observer is standing is 90 degree north and why n because the north pole or the place where the observer is standing is situated to the north of the equator so this place is demarcated as 90 degree north so this is how we determine the latitude of a place with the help of the north star now suppose the observer is standing here on this part of the globe now this dotted line again shows the line of horizon now standing on this part of the globe the observer will not find the north star right above his head rather he will find the north star somewhere here so this is the line of visibility where he gets to see the north star now the angle between the line of visibility and the horizon as we can see in this case is 40 degree so if we draw a latitude here then the measure of this latitude will be 40 degree n because this latitude lies to the north of the equator so as i just mentioned the measure of this latitude is 40 degree n because the angle between the line of horizon and the line of visibility is 40 degree now what will happen if the person is standing at the equator 
so we find that the observer is standing at the equator but the position of the north star is consistent now we can see that the dotted line or the line of horizon coincides with the line of visibility that is the angle between the horizon and the line of visibility is 0 degree because both are parallel or both coincides so the measure of equator or this line of latitude will be 0 degree so as i just mentioned the measure of equator is 0 degree as the horizon and the line of visibility coincides in this case and they make an angle of 0 degree hence equator is the 0 degree line of latitude thus here we understood how we can determine the latitude of a place with the help of north star the angle between the line of visibility and the horizon when we are watching the north star gives the measure of the latitude that is in this case if we are standing at the pole then the measure of the angle of line of visibility and the horizon will be 90 degree again if we are standing somewhere between the north pole and the equator somewhere here then here again the measure of the angle will give the value of the latitude here we can see that the angle between the line of visibility and the horizon is 40 degree so the measure or the value of latitude passing through this place is 40 degree and n because this latitude is in the northern hemisphere now coming to the equator the value is 0 degree because the line of horizon and the line of visibility coincides hence the value of equator or the measure of equator is 0 degree so here we understood how we can determine the latitude of a place with the help of north star now yet there is another method of measuring the latitude of a place let's see what it is now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this the angle between the horizon of a person standing at the equator and the line of sight of the north star is 360 degree 180 degree 90 degree or 0 degree yes the correct answer is 0 degree this is because at the equator the horizon and the line of sight of the north star coincides so the angle between them turns to be zero degree so zero degree is the correct answer this is the earth and this is the sun suppose an observer is standing here now this point is the zenith point that is the point exactly above the observer so the observer is standing here and the point exactly above his head is the zenith point now using this figure we will understand how we can determine the latitude of a place using this zenith point and the rays of the sun so i just mentioned that z is the zenith that is a point exactly above the observer now the angle between the line that connects the zenith to the equator and the rays of the sun is 30 degree in this case it is 30 degree so this 30 degree gives the zenith distance and what is zenith distance so zenith distance is the angle between the line that connects the zenith to the equator and the rays of the sun so this angle gives the zenith distance and this is 30 degree in our case 
now we know the rays of the sun are parallel so here we can draw another ray of the sun which is parallel to this ray now the angle between the rays of the sun and the line of equator at the earth's center in this case is 20 degree so this angle is 20 degree and this is known as declination so what is declination declination is the angle between the rays of the sun and the equator at the center of the earth so what do you think will be the latitude of this place where the observer is standing is it 30 degree or is it 20 degree well let me tell you that it is neither 30 degree nor 20 degree rather we can get the measure of this value in another way the value of the latitude where the observer is standing is actually the sum of these two angles now we know that this angle is known as the zenith distance and this in our case is 30 degree now what about this angle the value of this angle is equal to 20 degree following the properties of angle to be more clear this line is parallel to equator and this is a transversal so if two lines are parallel and if this is a transversal then these two angles will be equal and they are known as corresponding angles now in our case the figure is not exactly like this rather a line passes like this now these two angles are same similarly these two angles will be the same because these two lines are also parallel because in this case these two lines are the rays of the suns which are parallel so these two angles will be parallel so if this is 20 degree then this angle will also be equal to 20 degree so what will be the value of this latitude the value of this latitude will be given by the zenith distance plus the declination of the sun because i mentioned that this angle gives the zenith distance and this angle gives the declination of the sun so the value of this latitude where the observer is standing is equal to this latitude is equal to 30 degree which is the zenith distance plus 20 degree which is the declination of the sun rays now if you add these two values what will you get you will get 50 degree so as i have just mentioned the value of this latitude where the observer is standing is equal to the angle zpa that is this angle and this angle is equal to the sum of 30 degree and 20 degree well i just mentioned that this angle is equal to 20 degree so the value of the latitude will be equal to 30 degree plus 20 degree that is 50 degree now if you look at this picture then you will find that this latitude lies to the north of the equator so the value of this latitude will be 50 degree n 
because n here signifies that the latitude lies to the north of the equator so how can we calculate the latitude of a place we can calculate the latitude of a place by adding zenith distance and declination of the sun well i mentioned that zenith distance is the angle between the line that connects the zenith with the center of the earth and the rays of the sun so this angle gives the zenith distance and what is declination of the sun declination of the sun is the angle between the sun rays and the equator at the center of the earth so the value of this latitude will be the sum of these two angles that is 30 degree plus 20 degree so the value of this latitude is 50 degree north now this formula is true only for the latitudes that lie in the northern hemisphere or the latitudes that are situated to the north of the equator in case of southern hemisphere we subtract these two values that is in case of southern hemisphere the value of the latitude will be zenith distance minus declination of the sun so if we subtract declination of the sun from the zenith distance we will get the latitude of a place that lies to the south of the equator so in today's video we understood two ways in which we can measure the latitude of a place Firstly we can determine the latitude of a place using the north star that is by calculating the angle between the line of visibility and the line of horizon where the observer is standing Another way in which we can calculate or determine the latitude of a place is by calculating the zenith distance and the declination of the sun In our next video we will study about longitudes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now